Let's enter into a land of our dreams. Let's create a custom biome. All right, we found ourselves back in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be creating a custom biome in Fabric. And this is actually, I know you might be surprised, fairly straightforward. I know it's pretty crazy. So in our world package, we're going to create a new package called a biome. And inside of there, we're going to need two different classes. One of them is the mod biomes class, which is going to have everything related to our biome. And then a mod surface, mod surface configs class, which is going to be very interesting. Now, I am actually going to copy over the contents of this class, but they are actually fairly straightforward, as you will clearly see. So what you can see is that overall, this is not too crazy. But what is this now, right? So we have a configured surface builder here of type ternary surface config. So first of all, what is that? Ternary just means three, so no worries there. What that, that just means is that basically we have a surface builder, right? So we're gonna build the surface out of these three blocks, right? And the way that these blocks are, the first one is the top material, then under material, and then underwater material. So that's pretty much all that you really need to know here. It's gonna be a fairly straightforward thing. So we're gonna have a lava, we're just gonna call it lava surface, you know, magma, and then we're gonna have the dice block just so that we can see a mod block in there as well, and then sandstone for the underwater surface. This is all registered here with the registry.registration for the configured surface builders, so nothing too crazy. And we're gonna need this for our custom biome, which we're gonna do in the mod biomes class here. So the first thing that we're gonna actually copy over is a field here. So this is the registry key, lava land key. And I'm also going to copy over the method for this. This is the registry key method. This is, looks very similar to the thing that we've done in the configured features class. So in our mod configured features, but for the time being, we're gonna keep it like this because we're gonna actually need to use the biome key or the key here, the registry key, to actually both add the biome to the world as well as register it later. And I'm actually going to copy over the rest of the class as well. So we're gonna just copy over the entire thing here. Go, and what you will see is that first of all, so these two are needed, and then you also always need a method for your particular biome. So you can see that this biome has, first of all, some spawn settings, spawn settings.builder, just equal to new spawn settings builder. These are the spawn settings for maps. So we can see spawn settings dot and then you can, for example, say, hey, particular things that spawn. You can say, hey, player spawn friendly. And then you can also say, see here, default biome state. Aha, what is this? Well, default biome feature actually. Dot. And then you can see there's a bunch of stuff that we can call. Now, this is also below here. You can see that there's like a ton of stuff here. You know, end mods. We can add emerald ore. As you can see, there's like just some default things basically. That you can immediately add to your biome. I highly recommend playing around with this, taking a look at what options are available to you. And then you can also see that I've just added a new feature right here. So you can see this is generation settings that feature generation step lakes, of course, because when we add a lava lake in this case, this is of course going to be your generation step lakes, then all of that. So if I were, for example, wanted to add our, our custom ore, right, what I can just do is I can say generation settings that feature generation step Let's say, for example, this would be the underground ores, right? And then mod configured features, because of course we have the configured features dot, for example, Ruby ore. So this one would also work. Now, if I middle mouse button click on this, this does have everything in it. So this is the actual ore configuration of how it should spawn, right? It should spawn above two and not above 45 and then repeats six times. So that is all done. So basically this is now added in here as well. So that's how you would add that. And if you, for example, wanted to add, you know, your trees here would work the same way. What I have found, what you should definitely look out for is that the order here should be the same order as the features order here. Just keeping that in mind, just so that you have this. So in theory, you could also say generation settings dot feature then generation step settings for the vegetal decoration or mod configs or mod configured features dot, let's say the tree spawn here. And that should also spawn inside of our custom biome. Now, it's actually not going to spawn because we don't have any grass there. So that's not going to work, but that's okay. And here you can basically just do everything. You can say, hey, what precipitation is falling there, right? In this case, rain. There's also, of course, none or, rain, uh, or snow in that case. We can also add it to a particular category, the depth and the scale. 
actually determines the hilliness of the terrain. So I highly recommend playing around with these features. Temperature and downfall, I'm actually not 100% sure where they are relevant. I believe that they are, they can be relevant with where your actual biome can be placed in the world. And then also we have some, you know, watercolors, far colors, so you can change all of those as well. These are just normal hex numbers there, so nothing too spectacular. And in the register biome method, you can see that we're basically registering the biome here, right? So with the biome, the key, and then the actual, you know, biome here. And then we're also adding it to the world immediately. So I've just put this in here. You can make a new mod biome spawn class or mod biome generation class call it here and then just change it up about. But overall, this is pretty much all that you need to do. You can also add a custom class for each of your biomes that also works. There's of course a bunch of ways that you can approach this. However, you know, you have, you feel best for your own, whatever your order is supposed to be here. So let's go into our tutorial mod class because we actually need to do call two more things here. And that is after the mod configure features mod biomes dot init biomes so this is just so that the you know static fields actually initialize we don't need to go into that too much but that is something that we need to do and then before the mod world generation we want to call the mod biomes that register biomes method right here and now after this has been done that's actually all that we need to do right this is basically the declaration or the let's say settings for the actual biome so let's see if it works I don't forget to create a new world because of course we messed with the world generation so otherwise of course the new biome might not spawn so let's see all right find us in minecraft and let's just use the locate biome method right here to see tutorial mod lava land and it has been found which is a really good sign actually let's teleport to it and there we have it the crazy lava land with normal lakes as well as some lava lakes this is of course a very sh you know small one of those but still pretty cool and you can see that below the surface we have the the actual dice blocks in this case so that's really cool and also the rest should also have spawned there so i gotta say that's pretty awesome and that is actually only one way that you can make biomes. You can also make them via the JSON files. However, this is not something we're going to look at in this tutorial. Actually, we're just going to keep it with this because this is actually fairly straightforward. It shouldn't be too complicated, all things considered. And with that, that is pretty much it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. So, yeah.